What's going on? Jeff Hardy, the Charismatic Enigma here, and you are watching the Common Sense Ain't Common Podcast. Bitch, I'm that damn good. Smoking on some good, some rosy on the wood. Standing on the shit so you can get it understood. It's pedigree and me because I'm that damn good. Bitch, I'm that damn good. Bitch, I'm that damn good. Smoking on some good, something rosy on the wood. I got the bell, so you just get it understood. It's pedigree and me because I'm that damn good. Bitch, I'm that damn good. Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, I am Dame Don. I do have a wrestling podcast every Friday. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are going to WrestleMania, Raw after WrestleMania, SmackDown after WrestleMania, and I will be vlogging them all. Please make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe and like button. Let's just go ahead and jump right into WWE 2K22. The expectations for this game for me were extremely low. 2K has let us down every single year pretty much aside from 2019. That was the best game they had made. I've been playing wrestling games since SmackDown 2 on PlayStation. So I'm not really somebody that's easily impressed or, or, or you can just kind of throw things together and let it slip under the rug. And I feel like a lot of wrestling fans are in the same boat as that. Honestly, I'm going to give you my 100% honest, honest, honest opinion. WWE 2K22 is the best game of the 2K series. It is 100% the best game of the 2K series. Gameplay is so smooth. It's damn near crim criminal how smooth the game is. The AIs are a lot smarter, so the move flow has a, like the match flow. It, it makes more sense. The matches make a lot more sense. Uh, the opponents are doing moves that they're supposed to be doing at their time. They're reversing things that they're supposed to be reversing. Um, if you're pinning their tag team partner, they're not going for that. You know, they're breaking up the tag team pins. The ARs are a lot smarter. The one thing I can say for people that don't have the game yet and are waiting for the general release tomorrow, the controls are going to take some getting used to. I usually have the game on legend after a couple hours. I'm still playing on normal. Um, so don't expect to just pick up the game and just jump right back in like you did with 2K20 and 19. Right now, what I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes and think of every control from the previous games. Think of every control, the B to pin, the, 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 the B for just Irish rope, uh, uh, Irish whip rather, the grapples. Think of all the previous controls. Delete them out of your mind. You don't need any of them, they're not there. The previous controls, are simply not there to the point where like after I do a big move I'm still pushing B for the pin but there is no B to pin so there's definitely like some still getting used to that I'm gonna have to do and like that you all are gonna have to do too but the controls are really nice grapples have been completely eliminated and have been replaced by combos so if you do XXAB that'll be like a arm drag or like a uh, you know you can go in and edit them but XX B A will be a different move. X X A B is a different move. X X A is a different move. So it'll take a little getting used to, um, but once you get the hang of it, you'll really, really, really enjoy it. I honestly didn't even play the tutorial. I was too anxious. I literally just jumped right in. I was way too anxious to sit and try to play a tutorial. Um, the showcase actually helped me tremendously with learning the controls just because a lot of the showcase moves were like, oh, do this. Uh, a lot of the objectives were like, oh, do this combo, do this combo, do that combo. And so that kind of really helped me with the game, but I haven't played the tutorial and I'm, I'm doing just fine. I'm not on Legend just yet, but I'm doing just fine. Modes I have not touched yet are Universe Mode and My GM. And the only reason I haven't touched those modes yet is because I was trying to get through the My Rise 
um, so that I had everybody unlocked for my universe mode because I usually spend most of my time in universe mode. So I wanted to make sure I had everybody unlocked and things of that nature before I got in universe. They did just release yesterday that the My Rise characters that you've been seeing are not unlockable. So the My Rise characters you've been seeing are not unlockable. Nikki Cross, uh, uh, Goddess Alexa Bliss, Dominic Dijakovic. You cannot unlock them and only the arenas are unlockable. Once I found that out, I honestly have not been back to my rise. The story is great, but I feel like I moved my rise up on the priority list because of the unlockables. I am gonna do it obviously, but it's not like at the top of my list of things to do especially since there's no unlockable. So I honestly haven't been back in my rise since they said that there was no unlockables or you couldn't unlock the characters in my rise, seeing as that was the only reason I was playing it anyway. So I'll jump back into my rise eventually, but as of right now, I'm a little done. <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of people having issues online, on Twitter, but it, it, it seems like most of the people having issues are PlayStation members. I have an Xbox, the gameplay has been absolutely flawless for me the entire time. The game has only crashed on me one time, and honestly, I'm not even going to put that at fault on 2K. I honestly think that was just my fault. I was in the middle of a six-man, uh, six-man, six-pack challenge, um, and I had got eliminated, and I was trying to go and switch my person. When I went to pause the game and switch my person, it had froze. But I think that was because Bailey and Sasha were doing like their finishers in the ring. Charlotte was spearing somebody. So there was just like a lot of stuff going on. And like I picked that moment to try to switch players. And I think that was really my fault just because there was simply so much going on. The superstar mode in universe mode is pretty much a season mode. For those of you that have been playing the game forever, you pretty much know what a season mode is. I don't really think that this was needed. I honestly feel like if you play 2K, or if you play universe mode anyway, like you do superstar mode anyway with multiple people if you really know how to play universe mode. Like with me, universe mode is to the point where I have the three rivalries and then I also have rivalries that I'm just doing completely on my own. Like without the thing, I just set it up every week, have them attack every week, do a call out promo every week, like whatever. I just, I can just kind of do that stuff myself. So the universe mode, superstar mode is kind of pointless to me, but it looks like you will have a lot of different things to do once you get bored with the game, and that I do like. So like, there's not really, oh, I played this so much, what can I do? There's kind of a lot of stuff for you to do once you finish one mode. The jukebox plays the full WWE theme song. Like, you know how sometimes the jukebox, the little music thing where you could play the regular songs or the superstar songs, the jukebox now plays the entire song instead of just, you know, a minute or 45 seconds or whatever. You literally get to hear the entire song, which I love. Another thing I did notice, I wouldn't really call it a glitch, but something I did notice is that there's a lot of people with green hair in the game. I'm not really sure what's going on with that, but like, it's like, not like green green, but it has like a green undertone. Like you can kind of see like their ends are green. I really noticed that with Rhea Ripley, you can tell it with, Eddie Guerrero, you can tell it with. Another glitch I noticed is like trio tag team entrances don't really work. Like there's an entrance for The Way um, for trios and it's like NWO, it's not The Way. Um, there's a Bobby Lashley MVP tag team. That team can't be edited. You can't You can't add Cedric and Shelton to the team. You can't change the theme song. You can't really make any edits to that. Then I deleted the tag team, and now I can't even give MVP and Bobby Lashley his, um, I can't even give them their entrance back. Um, and somebody on Twitter actually pointed out to me that that's actually a thing with Imperium too, where you can't add or remove or edit anything with Imperium. So I think it's just kind of a glitch that they have with trio teams at this time, and I'm sure they are going to get that fixed at some point in time. I did kind of rush through the showcase mode for the unlockables. I really did want Dominic Mysterio and the Messiah Seth Rollins so that I could put him with Buddy Murphy and Austin Theory. Um, this entrance right here, he's actually using the Jinder Mahal Bollywood Boy 2 entrance. It actually fits perfectly. 
it fits perfectly. Another entrance that fits perfectly, just a quick little tip, is if you want to use the Alpha Academy as an actual tag team um, and change the Alpha Academy's entrance, I think it's called um, Heavy Machine, not Heavy Machinery, Extreme Weather Conditions. Use that for Chad Gabe One Otis. That is the best, most accurate tag team entrance template for those two. Now, as somebody that spends a lot of time creating, for the most part, I've just been, I spent most of my time in exhibition and my rise, and I did the showcase. But I really do spend a lot of my time creating and making sure everything is perfect. I've just been kind of playing with everybody to make sure their moves are right, uh, their finishers and signatures are placed correctly. I've had to switch Rhea Ripley's, I've had to change William Regal's, uh, just getting their alternate attires correct. So with that being said, I'm very heavy into the creations. The one problem, the one main problem I have with this game is the no advanced entrances. I'm not gonna lie, like the advanced entrances is, is a huge part of the game. It's a huge part of the game, especially when it comes to them not adding Sasha's promo, uh, pyro, them not adding Riddle's pyro, Randy's pyro, Bobby Lashley's pyro, uh, Jeff Hardy's pyro, and you can't go in and change these things. The timing on Kane's pyro is so off. It, it's re it really bothers me how off it is. It is so off. It is so off. The, the, the removal of advanced entrances is probably the worst part of this game for me. I'm not going to lie. That is probably the worst part of this game for me. Otherwise, the game is absolutely tremendous. It is absolutely tremendous. If you all have been waiting, you don't have it yet, or you've been iffy about getting it, or, you know, 2K has let you down every series like they have done me, I would suggest you get the game. The game is absolutely tremendous. The game is absolutely tremendous. When they said it hits different, they truly do mean it hits different. It is, it has a completely different feel than, than 2K20, 2K19. It has a completely different feel. That's why I said whatever you know about the controls, completely get that out of your mind. Now, before we get out of here, I do want to say 2K actually hit me with a DMCA on Twitter for trademark, I guess, because... You know, they did say that they were going to be doing that to people. They actually hit me with this. And it was just more so of like a warning of, hey, you posted our content. Don't post it again. But I feel like why didn't 2K go after the people that were actually leaking the information? You going to come after me on my Twitter for posting something that was already posted? Why didn't you go after the main source? It was like three things. So I had to go through and like confirm for all three things. I posted Charlotte Flair's entrance. They removed that. Braun Strowman's entrance. I removed that. And then I think it was just like a picture of MVP or something. And I had to go in and agree all the terms and conditions and all this shit. Like 2K, go find something better to fucking do. Go find the people that actually leaked the game. All I did was post the shit. Maybe I was just the first person to post it online. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. But this was my first review ever but i had to come and review this game just because there's a lot of skeptical people out here i was one of them i was definitely one of you if you don't have the game yet i pinky promise you will not be disappointed i'm gonna go ahead and give wwe 2k a whopping 8.5 out of 10 simply due to the fact that there are minor issues and you lost that whole point for the no advanced entrances. I'm not even gonna lie. If I had advanced entrances, this game would probably be, probably be a nine, nine and a half. The fact that there's no advanced entrances, you get nine and a half, eight and a half. That is all I have for you here today, guys. Make sure you check out my wrestling podcast every single Friday right here on YouTube. There won't be an episode this week. I'll be playing WWE 2K22. <laughs> Make sure you all follow me on Twitter and Instagram, pictured above. And we'll be back in studio next week. See you guys here. Thank you guys so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this.